गाइस दिस इज ऑफ फ्रॉम टेक केयर एंड टुडे आई एम बैक विद ऑफिशियल रेजरक्शन रिमिक्स बिल्ड फॉर द रेडमी नोट 4 नाउ देयर आर अ फ्यू बग्स आई मीन देयर आर मोस्ट प्रोबेबली वन बग दैट आई विल टेल यू टेल यू अबाउट वेल इट इज अ ऑफिशियल बिल्ड एंड यस दैट्स द फर्स्ट ऑफिशियल बिल्ड फ्रॉम रेजरक्शन रिमिक्स एंड इट इट इज ग्रेट रन्स ऑन 7.1.2 एंड आई रियली रिकमेंड ऑल ऑफ यू टू यूज दिस रोम and uh, one more thing guys uh, the uh, developer options are free and available you can easily do stuff that you want to do with it the rom is pre rooted you just have to give it the root access from the developer option and afterwards uh, there are things like a few customizations we all know resolution remix means customizations but the gestures double tap to sleep works fine but the jump to camera gesture doesn't work all the time i'll tell you about that later on Well, I have installed my necessary apps that I use, and I get around 900 to 1 gigs of free RAM, and that I would say is acceptable. The RAM management is good. Configurations. The less I talk about it, the better I believe. Now there are lots of configurations. I mean, I can easily make a video on it, and if it will take more than 20 minutes, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> there are some configurations, specification. You can do a lot, lot, lot more stuff than any other ROM on the market for Redmi Note 4. So download the rom i have given you the thread link go to the thread download from their links and just do that install the rom and uh, just work with it there are lot more options than i can even imagine and i really love i that's why i really love resolution remix you get the cyanogen features plus the, the cyanogen stability plus the configurations i know it's lineage was right now but still cyanogen is the love of my life Anyways, that uh, the both the SIM slots work fine. The Geo 4G works fine. I will show you Volte calling. So, uh, guys, I was talking about well, just do the Volte calling. Now, guys, I was talking about the uh, moves, move to camera gesture that doesn't work all the time, and that's the main bug. Sometimes I press the camera button once and it goes to the camera. I mean, sorry, not the camera button. I am talking about the power button. Sometimes I press the power button only once, and it moves to the camera. Actually, so the thing is, I have to press the power button twice to go to the camera, but it doesn't doesn't work doesn't work all the time. I mean, for eighty percent of time, it works fine without any issue. But for twenty percent of time, just like the previous ROM that I reviewed, it's the same thing there. Official TWRP app is there, yes, and you need a custom TWRP recovery. Otherwise, you won't be able to do that. Camera, it's good, it's good. Yes, it's good. I mean, it's not exceptionally great. I mean, don't expect your photos to be like of DSLR quality, but it's good. I mean, you can't expect that, right? And uh, I, I am expecting different kind of camera app from developers. uh well it, it is the uh, image that i've taken here the output is great guys i mean even at this low light what i'm expecting from developers is that they come up with a, another a kind of camera app apart from this that will be very much good for me at least so that i will be able to check another camera apps out of the box i mean this camera app is good but i prefer another camera app that will be better if any one of the developers are listening to me right now please come up Uh, please come up with another camera app. I I request you It's for me, please. Anyways, uh, the while shooting video, the whole image gets a bit more zoomed in. So while shooting video, you have to take few more steps back. The video quality is good. There is no issues with it. No stuttering. No frame drop issues. Nothing at all. And um, really loving it. Just the thing is that the image gets uh, zoomed in a bit. So you have to and uh, handle with care. while shooting videos so this is uh, all the things that i have to show you and uh, well uh, the fingerprint scanner works fine without any hassle now like i was saying that the uh, you know gesture to go to the camera sometimes it doesn't work sometimes i'm pressing the power button only once and it is going to the camera i believe with further updates it will be solved completely In the settings uh, play with the settings that i the, the only thing that i can tell you Anyways guys this is all for today like this video if you want dislike if you don't like it subscribe to our channel for other videos like this stay awesome stay subscribe stay with us i'll be seeing ya